It's taken three and a half years, but we finally have some proper competition in the league. Greetings, my excellent friends, and welcome back to episode 17 of The Culture Club. I'm Kirk Sheridan, and this new division is quite similar to the last division, as you can see. Well, there's a lot of wins that we've been able to put away. We have not been keeping many clean sheets. We'll come back to that shortly, but we are pretty dominant. Sadly, though, the Cups haven't been going quite as well as the league. We were knocked out in the first qualifying round of the FA Cup by rugby. They were a higher division club, but we should have got through. Look at those match stats. Our XG 1.73. We missed a penalty. Gutting. We also have just been knocked out of the Velocity Trophy. Now, this was a cup that the board weren't interested in, so I was able to heavily rotate the team, and it didn't work. We were, again, dominant, but lost against the run of play. Most importantly, we are bossing the Isthmian Division 1 Southeast. Top of the league, as usual, we have lost one match, drawn four, and won 12. Our goal difference is better than Ramsgate, but you can see... We've got some proper competition. We've got one cup match in the FA Trophy coming up first. And after that, we play Ramsgate. If they beat us by two goals or more, they could go top. They could go top and knock us off our perch. So we've got some proper competition for the first time ever. I'm a little bit nervous. Media, though, are expecting us to keep going without a care in the world. They're still putting us as favourites, but you can see the odds have dropped quite a bit. We were 91 to 1 on at one point. Now we're 2 to 9. That is a significant change. But we've done a lot of transfer business and we're now dominating the Dream 11 again. As you can see, four new signings since you were last with me. Liam Kelly was the first. Central defender who is now better than Oli O'Dwyer and Theo Vassell. 7.64 average rating. Decent enough mental stats, but he's a great defender. Good enough in the air. A much, much improved uh, potential on Oli O'Dwyer. So, despite being one of our team leaders, Oli's time at the club might be drawing to a bit of a close. Brendan Barr was the next one to come in. Uh, he's still settling in. He hasn't set the world alight, but he's got extremely good potential. So I think he's probably going to do OK up to the next division. We might need to look at his long term future after that. And after that, I started going a little bit crazy. Even at this level of football, when you get a striker who's as potentially good as Dejon Noel Williams, we have to pay a lot of money. Look at that. That is a ridiculous amount to be paying someone at this level. When he really hits form, he is going to be absolutely worth it. Look at this. He's better than Minhas. He's better than Addy. He can be as good as Addy in the future. And given how well Addy's been playing, oh, the thought of these two combining as we go up to the National League is very, very exciting. He's mentally pretty strong as well, so he does fit the ethos of the club. He can stick with us for a long time. He's scoring above his XG so far. The main thing he needs to do is just get into more scoring positions. And handily enough, he's got the new Joe Healy to help him with those opportunities. Natural deep line playmaker. He can pass. He can spot a pass. He works hard. He's got great first touch. He can take a corner. He is the natural heir to my favourite GTS culture player. But he's 33 years old and earning 250 quid a week. Joe was great until he was about half a star. This guy's three and a half. He could do amazing things for us. He's only just joined, so he's still very, very early in his career. As he settles in, this guy is going to create everything for us. He's going to pull the strings against Ramsgate. We're going to dominate them. We're going to beat them. We're going up as champions. Hopefully. 
we have said goodbye to a couple of players as well. Mitchell Dickinson, who has played a lot of football for us over the last couple of years, was a stalwart when we won the Southern Combination Premier. His potential just hasn't been warranting me playing him. You have served us well, my friend, and we wish you all the best with your future endeavours. You'll also be pleased to know that given my tendency to overpromise things to members of my squad, I've actually been able to keep that under control, which I'm I'm very, very pleased with. It helps create that strong culture at the club that we are looking for. There's only two players at the moment who are a little concerned about things. Jack Hinshelwood simply wants to start more games. He is our star player and we weren't playing him enough for his liking. Now, that is because he was tired and I was trying to make sure he wasn't going to get injured, but I'm bowing to his wishes and I'm going to make sure he starts as many games as possible. And Wesley Fonguk, because we've signed Billy Bingham, is a little concerned that Bingham's going to take his place in the team. So we've got a brilliant atmosphere at the club. My managerial support's excellent. Team cohesion is very good. And it's going to stay that way this time. Here we are for our first match of the episode. We've got Horsham away from home in the FA Trophy second round. Now, this is where the board expected us to get to. Anything beyond this is a bonus because this trophy is where the money is this year. So we'll obviously accept our assistant manager's opposition instructions. As you know, with the team culture that we've got, we want to make sure that we're giving everyone the opportunity to succeed. That includes our staff and making sure that we're taking their advice on board as much as we possibly can. But we're not making those changes to the team because we have Ormson in goal. Back four of Vincent, Hoyle, Vassell, Yates. Midfield of Ballinger, Bingham, Fonguk, Barr and Addy cutting in as an inside forward and Noel Williams up front. We've played quite a lot of football recently. So there are a few players who we've had to leave out. O'Dwyer, Naby. Perry, Williams Lowe, Hinshelwood is genuinely tired this time. He's just not really in good enough condition to be playing this match. So on the bench, we've got Shamir Mullings, Liam Kelly, Nathan Minhas, Gabriel Swift, Daniel Pitchford, Ellis Sullivan and Paddy Wharton, who has just been dropped. But there have been too many occasions recently where we've conceded stupid goals and lost points or lost matches that we should have otherwise have won. So I did a little bit of investigation with the Data Hub, one of the first times that I've really used it to drill down into what's going on for this particular club. Walton here has an expected save percentage around the 88.5% mark, but his actual save percentage is about 74%. Intriguing. So what's Ormson looking like? He has made one mistake leading to a goal this year and played nowhere near as much football, but his save percentage is about 90% versus an expectation of 92. So I'm going to give Ormson a run, allow Wharton to just kind of have a bit of a rest, hopefully see this as an opportunity to really push himself, develop himself and strengthen his shot stopping ability. Right, I'm going to pump my fists. I want to energise this team. It made no difference at all. What is it with these team talks? This is a save where I'm supposed to be motivating the players and it's almost impossible to actually do so. It's bucketing down with rain here, which might actually be a bit difficult for us given that we like to keep the ball on the deck most of the time. The quality of the pitch is looking all right though, so hopefully we'll be okay. Oh, nice cross wheel pass there for... From Hoyle, out to Yates. Plays it down to Addy, who's probably going to have to cut back. He does. Yates belts one across. And, yeah, easy claim for the Horsham goalkeeper there. And, oh, they're running through with a long ball over the top. Oh, goodness me. Oh, I thought that was going to creep inside the post, but no, it goes the other side. We have been playing incredibly well, as you've seen in the... Uh, in the results so far, we've been just been conceding far too many goals. It's we kept very few clean sheets, considering how dominant we've actually been. And they're clean through here. This is going to be a goal, isn't it? Oh no! Oh, that was disappointing. Very, very disappointing. Just an easy play through there. Hoyle just could not keep up with Fall there running through. We are starting to get found out by that ball. 
in between the central defence. I'm wondering what we can be doing really to stop that from happening, to be honest. But that formation has served us very well. I'm considering moving two, to be honest. A three at the back. We've got Ballinger, we've got Vincent who could play on the left. I've got a new right wing back I'm looking to bring in. Uh, oh, over the top. Birmingham, Bingham, Bingham. Oh, my word. That would have been an absolute belter from Bingham. But yeah, I am considering going to three at the back, particularly pushing the wing backs further forward and maybe using them even as wingers. Uh, but first, that we need to not get absolutely blown away by Horsham here. I'm slightly worried. We've got 68% possession. They really are winning the XG here. Uh, we're playing on the counter-attack despite having all the ball. This is a bit of an odd situation for us. I think we might need to change to the diamond. I'm going to say to them, I'm happy with the number of shots on target. They have had more. That's inspired them. Oh, we've got a couple more bookings now. No, this isn't working. So, not only am I going to change the personnel, we will change the formation too. Right, so first things first, we're switching to the diamond. That means we are going to take Ballinger off and put Mullings on to play as the target forward. Fonguk, who is already booked, is not playing brilliantly. So we're going to bring Swift on. Now, Swift is an interesting player to put in this role because he's got a jumping reach of 14. He's six foot six. He doesn't have brilliant heading, but when he runs forward from midfield, <laughs> he does get a lot of opportunities. Barr has been playing poorly. So we'll put Addy up there and we will bring on Sullivan. Given he's already been booked, we'll ask Hoyle to ease off the tackles. A significant change here. I believe in the boys. They can make a difference. They're all motivated. We've got half an hour to turn this around. Ormson with a goal kick. All the way up to Mullings. No, it's cleared by one of their defenders to the left wing. They hoof it up, but Vassal gets on it. Bar to Swift. Noel Williams, Bar Mullings is hoofing it right over the top. Hang on a minute. Bar. I don't believe it. I took Addy off instead of Bar. I've left Bar on, who was playing poorly, and took off Addy, who was playing well. What an idiot. Right, we have to go attacking then for the last couple of minutes of this match. There's some prize money on the line here. Can we turn this around? Come on, three minutes of added time. We're just going to put the wing backs into midfield. Sod it. They're going to play as wingers. We need an equaliser. Come on. No. Oh, this is too many matches. Look at that. Ten shots on target compared to two. We had 63% possession and we Lost 1-0. This is getting really frustrating. Bingham was our best performer, but that is it's just not good enough. And unfortunately, the fans have come to the same conclusion as me. Ormson was useless, which is a concern. He had two saves to make, and he made one. We managed to get £1,000 for losing, but that, I think, is our prize money pretty much done for the year now. We're out of the FA Cup. We're now out of the FA Trophy. We won the Super Cup, yet we're out of the Velocity Trophy. That is it. We're all in on the league, which is a bit of a concern because we're over £26,000 overdrawn and our wage budget is higher than it has ever been before. We're projected at the end of this season to be £123,000 in debt. Oh, goodness me. I think I need to go shopping for a goalkeeper. But some positive news. We've got Addy wanting a longer-term contract, potentially. You know what? I will happily start negotiations with him for that. Because this is a lad who could be with us all the way to the National League. Let's take a quick look at Club Vision then, now that we've only got the league to focus on. The board are currently pleased by how we're doing in the league. We did pass the expectations for the FA Trophy and the Super Cup. We failed to reach the third qualifying round of the FA Cup. But everything else we're doing okay. We're playing attacking football, playing possession football. It's entertaining, it's high tempo. 
and we are within the wage budget despite the fact that we're paying out more than we have before we're not overpaying so if we can beat ramsgate and pull away a little bit at the top i think this could be a successful season first against second if we win this match we go six points clear with half of the season gone if we lose this match we could drop to second so we have a few more players in need of a rest after our exploits or failures in the uh, in the fa trophy whichever way you want to look at it so i'm having to rest uh, billy bingham unfortunately this time hoyle is unfortunately suspended as always we will accept the opposition instructions but we won't make those changes to the team we're going with Ormson in goal again, giving him one more chance. Back four of Vincent, O'Dwyer in for Hoyle, Kelly, and then Williams Lowe in for Yates, as Williams Lowe has recovered his fitness. Hinshaw would back into midfield, Fongut moving to the DLP role, Ballinger stays on the left wing. We're bringing Naby in as the attacking midfielder, with Addy cutting in, and we're bringing Minhas back up front. Now, Noel Williams is an important player. He's our best played player. But Minhas is still the top scorer in the division, despite having been displaced by Noel Williams. He was off to an amazing start to the season. Sticking to the culture of this save, he is performing at a high level. And the reputation of someone who is not performing as well does not allow them to step above Minhas. So come on, Nathan, show me what you can do. On the bench, Wharton, obviously, we've got Vassell, Yates, Noel Williams, and also Moody. Brendan Barr is available, but I've done a bit of a look at the mental attributes. Although Barr is a higher quality player, in theory, he's not performing quite to the high standard that I want yet. Moody deserves an opportunity, and his mental attributes are slightly higher. So again, that's what we're focusing on for this particular save. Paul Moody will get his chance. We are at home for this match. We've got a few fans in attendance on a Wednesday night in Brighton. And we're off to a, well, I was going to say a decent start with 75% possession. It quickly dropped back. Pretty slow start, to be honest. Right, here we go. First highlight. Half an hour played. And it's, oh, poor goal kick. Minhas gets on the ball. Naby cuts through. Can he put a ball into the middle? He can't. It's taken away. And are they going to break? I fear that they are. Oh, Williams Lowe manages to nick it back, though. Good pressing from him. Hinshelwood to Naby, who plays a through ball to Minhas, who scores. Was he offside? It doesn't seem he was. Beautifully timed run from Minhas. Beautiful through ball from Naby. 1-0 to GTS Culture. We are back, my friends. This is where this save starts to get really tricky. So I've signed Noel Williams as an important player. I've promised him more football than Minhas. But Minhas is the one scoring the goals. What do I do? This is going to be a very, very, very difficult decision to make as the season goes on. But half-time, that is the one chance of real note, the only highlight of the match so far. Let's tell them it was a good first-half performance. Again, we want to go out there and inspire this team. We want to motivate them. We're not always going to give them tough love. We want them to be positive, enthused, inspired. And it seems to be working so far. We are still on top of this match, but half an hour left... Still only the one highlight of note. Ballinger is getting tired, but we know what he can do. And this formation is holding its own against Ramsgate. So I don't want to shift around things around too much. Addy is not playing well, unfortunately. And I don't have anybody else who can cut in from that right wing. No. Right, I'm going to keep faith in Addy, at least for another 10 minutes. We're going to bring Moody on, though, so for some fresh legs in midfield. He will always be looking for the through ball. So more of a natural replacement for Bingham than uh, than Fongak was. And that's it for now. That's the only change we will make. Let's see if we can motivate Moody. We can. 
15 minutes remaining. Still only the one attacking highlight. Naby is tiring now. If we keep Hinshelwood as the ball winning midfielder, which is his best position, we're going to have to give Vassell a go as a box-to-box -box midfielder. We haven't managed to motivate him, though, because we're playing him in a completely unfamiliar position. Let's hope this doesn't come and bite us. Ten minutes remaining. We have a throw-in. Moody on the wing, knocks it through. Kinshawwood can't get to it, so they are on the break. This is not what I want to see. Come on, GTS, get the ball. Oh, no, they're through. Oh, I don't believe it. I do not believe it. One shot from them, and they managed to score. This goalkeeping situation is not good. Not good at all. Right, we need to bring on another striker. We do need to make a tactical change now, then. Moody is the playmaker. Hinshelwood is the attacking midfielder. Addy further forward. That's our three changes made. I mean, this isn't disastrous, but I do want to pull away from Ramsgate if we can. Noel Williams wants to go out there and win the game for us. Please do. Please, please do. Oh, goodness me, Ormson. Don't mess this up for us. They're on the ball again. Oh. And that looks like time is up. So... Not disastrous. Not what I wanted, but not disastrous. So we managed to hold Ramsgate at home. I would have much preferred us to actually beat them at home. We've definitely got a goalkeeping problem, though. And that's not a good thing as we go into the second half of the season. Addy had a dreadful game. For someone who's been playing so well and who we just offered a new contract to, that's concerning as well. There we are, confirmation We're halfway through the season. We are three points clear at the top of the league. Ten points clear of third place. But as you can see, there's four playoff spots. There's only one team gets promoted automatically. I want that to be us. And in the league, we are 15 unbeaten, which is brilliant. We're just conceding too many goals. Look at this. We've got by far... The best XG against in the league. We should have only conceded 13, maybe 14 goals. We've conceded 18. So we definitely do have a goalkeeping problem. Good job we've got some goalkeeping training coming tomorrow then. So I think it's fair to say that this episode has lived up to its title. I started off by saying we have some genuine competition for the first time. We have just been held at home by that competition and we've been knocked out of the FA Trophy by a team above us when we've generally been dominant in the Cups for the last year. As you know, a quadruple last year. So it is at the turning point. So depending on how the rest of the season goes, we might come back in the middle of this bunch of fixtures around the end of February and March, or we may go all the way through to the end because I, for one, am excited to see what happens if and when we get promoted to the Isthmian premiere. So if you have enjoyed what you've watched today, please do drop a like on the video and of course subscribe to the channel to be updated about all of the new content that we've got coming out. As always, just be excellent to each other and thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you again soon.